Hello everyone, welcome to your first DNA Master tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to obtain DNA Master, how to get it running and installed on your Windows machine. Now if you're using a Mac, this is not going to apply to you. I will make a separate video showing you how to install it on a Mac. It's a little more difficult. You're going to have to run a virtual machine um, because DNA Master only works on Windows. So. Um, Alright, so you got your phage done, you got it isolated, you sequenced uh, the DNA and everything, and now you're going to get into the bioinformatics part, and this can be a really exciting time, you know, seeing the sequence of your phage, seeing where it fits in, in the grand scheme of all of the different other phages that were isolated and sequenced, and seeing what cluster it's in, it's a pretty cool thing, and um, we do it through a program called DNA Master. So. To get DNA Master on your computer, all you have to do is go to phagesdb.org, go over here to software, and click DNA Master. Now, DNA Master, like I said, is a program that was created by Dr. Jeffrey Lawrence at the University of Pittsburgh, and it is a pretty powerful tool in what it can do with um, your genes and your phage genome and everything like that. So, this is what you're going to be working with when you're doing the bioinformatics of your phage and it's a pretty awesome thing so right away I think all of your computers should be good to go I mean unless you're using a really old computer the program itself is a little bit old um, so the requirements or the, the system requirements aren't that strenuous so um, that should be no worry here they are uh, just in just in case you were wondering alright so what we're gonna do now is just go download this thing so we're gonna click this uh, link it says this can be downloaded here you're just gonna click here going to take you to his website, you hit software on the left side, and you click DNA Master, and it's going to download the application file. So we'll just save it to our desktop, and here it is, it's going to download in just a couple seconds, and we'll open it up when that's done. Here we go, we're going to hit yes. Now this is going to pop up every time you open DNA Master, it's going to ask for administrator permissions, so if you are using a computer that multiple people use, say a family computer or something like that make sure you're on the administrator account or that you give the program administrator permissions because you're going to need that every single time uh, to run the program so just a heads up with that All right, we're gonna click next it's pretty self-explanatory um, setup and everything it's gonna create its own path in the program files um, all users can use it probably that will be the best choice for you um, I'm just going to keep hitting next. It's going to install. Alright, we're going to uncheck Run DNA Master now and just hit Finish. The next thing you want to do is head to the uh, path that it just created. So you're going to go into your, uh, most likely your C drive, Program Files x86, DNA Master, and you're going to find the DNA Mass application. This is it right here. It's called DNA Mass. It's an application type, so it's .exe. You want to right click on it and hit send to desktop and that will create a uh, shortcut for your program right here. This will create um, a thing that will allow you to run DNA Master each time. What you can also do is pin it to maybe your start or even drag a shortcut down here, pin to taskbar and that will allow you to use DNA Master more easily and load it up. Now that you have the shortcut on your desktop, there's a couple of things you can do so that it runs smoothly each time. If you're using Windows 7 or later, what you're going to do is right click on the shortcut, shortcut, hit properties, go to compatibility here, the compatibility tab, and you're going to check run this program as an administrator. So it will automatically run the program every time as an administrator and um, that should give you no problem. Also, you want to have this compatibility mode here run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. So you're going to hit that and just click OK and then you should have no problem simply opening it up. So every time this pops up just click yes and it will load up and there you go. That's how you install it and get it running on your PC. Now if you guys have any questions or if it's not working let me know. Also there are, will be resources in the description to the installation guide if you're having some problems now if this is the first time you're using DNA Master, I would definitely recommend going up into the Help tab and clicking Update DNA Master just to run the updates, just to make sure that the file you have is the newest file. You're going to need 
internet connection and as you can see here it says information DNA master has been updated effective after restarting the program so simply do that if this is the first time and when we go back into the program you'll now have the most updated DNA master um, file which will be good to go for loading in your genome and everything like that which I will show you in the next tutorial and other than that I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial